the title of this talk is the fitna of takfir fitna of takfir the affliction and the trial of takfir this is one of the most dangerous fitna that is occurring in our times this fitna of takfir this misleading thought spread amongst many of the youth in the Muslim world east and west, north and south many who are deeply involved with their emotions and their, with their vigilant care concerning the deen So they took by much of that which they received from followers of desires. Those who renewed the principles and thoughts of the early Khawarij, the early dissidents, and they became in our times an extension to them leading them to make takfir of the Islamic societies at large and making takfir of all Muslim rulers without any exception and most of people few who were safe from them consequences are very terrible blood is being shed first of all let us define what is kufr Linguistically, the term kufr means asitru wa taghfiyah, covering and shielding. Anything that covers something, it is said that it covered it kafarahu and shielded it. Like it is said, that the farmer when he puts the seed and covers it with the soil then he is a kafir from linguistic aspect then the farmer is a kafir from a linguistic aspect because he covered he shielded as to the Islamic meaning as to the Islamic meaning, the technical meaning, sometimes the word kuf means the major kuf which takes the person out of the fold of Islam. And sometimes it refers to the kufr, the lesser type, which does not take the person from the fold of Islam. And the kafir has been called a kafir. A kafir is called a kafir. Because he covered and shielded the favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And therefore he did not recognize the favor of Allah upon him and was not giving thanks. Rather, he denied the favor of Allah upon him. This is why the kafir is called a kafir. 
That's why a kafir is called a kafir. Because he covered the favor of Allah, shielded it. Did not recognize the favor of Allah, rather denied and rejected the favor of Allah upon him. That's why the kafir is called a kafir. Now, people, Ahl Sunnah, are medium in their course regarding Islam. In all the fundamental matters of Islam, they are on a medium course between the extremes, those who exceeded the limit, the excessive ones, and between those who are negligent, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes this in the Noble Quran by saying, وَكَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَاكُمْ أُمَّةً وسطا, And thus we have made you as a just nation, a just nation. And they are regarding this matter of takfir, they are on a medium course between extremism and between negligence. The kafir is of two types, meaning the one who is on major kufr is of two types. Kafir on asli, original kafir, like the Jews, Christians, and the others. And anyone who doubts their kufr himself is a kafir. The second type is the obstinate, the obstinate who was born to two Muslim parents, then in the stage of adulthood, and he rejected Islam, in saying or in action, These are the two types pertaining to the kafir. People split regarding this matter into three categories. First category is al-khawarij, al-khawarij the dissident. Those impute kufr on the Muslims due to major sins. Some even due to minor sins. And they make permissible their blood and their wealth. And they impute kufr on anyone who is not with them. And they have extension in our lives, in our times, I mean. And they exist in many parts of the Muslim world. The second group are al murjia This group say that Iman, that faith, is not affected at all by any sin committed. Even if the Muslim does any act of the major sins, they say he is a believer and nothing, nothing affects his faith.
and this sect, the Murji'ah, itself comprises different positions, but this is overall 